Hello everybody, soybean farmer. I'm over here beside the world's smallest soybean field. Today is uh, July 25th. Last Wednesday morning, which would have been July the 19th, early that morning, um, I had opportunity to spray some beans before I went to work. So uh, I was out here that morning, probably got out here about seven o'clock. There was a heavy dew uh, on these beans and of course the weeds that were here. But um, it was a perfect condition for a specific uh, tank mix that I came up with a couple of years ago that works really good. Now, if you remember from the previous video, I was showing you right in this area here, the heavy infestation of morning glory. Um, it's dead. I got a really good kill on it. I'm very pleased with that. You can see down here, it's dead. So, uh, this little fill is really a, a good representation. We'll go up there and look of uh, this five acre field right out here. Uh, that I also sprayed that morning. I was so delighted that I, I, I the goal was to get two acres sprayed uh, Starting over on the other side of the hill there, but I managed to get all five acres of that sprayed and uh, This little piece sprayed and then there's a little tiny piece right over there across the uh, waterway I usually plant that whole piece there. It's four tenths of an acre, but uh, it was so wet the day I was trying to plant it I didn't want to spend my day stuck. But uh, let's go look at the other field. You so you can see what I was talking about. I'll walk out here a little bit and you can see all the, the dead morning glory. Morning glory is uh, one of the things that's really hard to kill and get a handle on it. So I'm delighted this worked out. I'm delighted that my formula got it and took care of it. My next experiment on this little little patch right here is uh, I'm going to put some fertilizer on it. I've never put fertilizer on beans but I'm curious to see what it's going to do. So I've got I've got one 50 pound bag of 5-5-25 and a uh, a little bit of nitrogen to give it a little kick. You can see right up here, a little bit of yellow in, in here. That was from the heavy application of the Flex Star. Uh, I mean, it was a heavy application, but I wanted to get rid of the weeds. And I'm delighted that it worked out. That piece right over there is just as clean as this is. So I'm delighted with that. Well, this is... Uh, the field that y'all were riding with me in while I was spraying. And uh, you can see right over here, that was morning glory. It's dead. And uh, there's more morning glory in here. And it's dead. In fact, it's crunchy to walk on. Now, this was that patch of water hemp that I walked out into. And let's see, this is probably a pretty good representation. Right here, I caught it young and uh, it's dead. I do see one large water hemp plant down there that survived. Let's walk down there and take a look at that. I keep the camera pointed down. I mean, you see right over in there, it's dead. Over in there, it's dead. But I see one down here. A little bit in here that survived. Small spot right here. 
there's one there and uh, he's dead now there's a little bit there but this was a water hemp thicket right in here it's like I'm thinking the combine had a big old wad of seed in it probably came off that field over there because that's the one that's in, in infected infested the worst and it just hit just right right in this area and blew it out but uh, I got 98% kill on it right now a problem with water hemp coming out here to these two plants here that one and that one I don't remember how tall they were but you can't kill a plant that tall you can spray it to death and you cannot kill it this is the only way you'll get rid of it is reach down here like this and pull that up just like that that'll kill it and uh, oh hell fire ant that is not good get off me and then this one any more fire ants on that thing go down there right here that'll kill that I'll just let them lay there and die dry up but uh yeah he got me that'll be fun for the rest of the day uh, beans are burned a bit but that's just the way it is with Flexstar he, you put it to it uh, heavy enough to get a weed kill and that's what you're going to get now here's an example that's water hemp right there burn up it was a good sized plant but before it died look what it did sprouted a new growth we'll sun that root and here's another one let's see if it now that one was dead of course I see a little bit of green right there by my thumb uh, we'll sun that root did some research into a chemical called Cobra and they said the the burn on your beans uh, like that right there see how the leaves are crumpled up it'll grow out of it the ones on the front side I hit them heavy like this when I walked out there and saw how bad the water hemp was in that I got 100% kill on that it's took care of but I am really pleased with this everybody uh, thank you very much for subscribing to my channel thank you for watching my videos uh, it means a lot to me everybody have a great evening morning afternoon whatever time of day it is that you're watching this and uh, God bless each and every one of you thank you bye now